In this next video about digitizing tools, we will look at the closed object tools. You can digitize quick shapes with the rectangle and the ellipse tool. We'll also look at the closed object tool and the closed freehand, and finally, the block digitizing tool. Let's move on to the rectangle tool. When you select the rectangle tool, you now have outlines and fills available because a closed object tool like the rectangle tool can use both outlines as well as fills. Let's first create a square using an outline. To use the rectangle tool to draw a square, click in the corner, hold down the control key, and then click at the opposite corner, and a square is generated. To create a rectangle, let's add a fill to this rectangle. Click in the corner and drag to the other corner and click again. The ellipse tool creates both circles and ovals. Again, it is a closed object tool. So when you select the ellipse tool, you have access to both outlines as well as fills. For this first one, let's select the black work outline, click in the center of your object, drag to the circumference of the circle, click again, and press enter. For this oval, it will take three clicks. Select the type of stitch you want, and we'll select a fill stitch for this. Click in the center of the oval, drag to the edge of the first dimension, click again, and then drag so that the oval completes the shape. Click once again and press Enter. The Closed Object tool forms closed objects, and you can use, again, either outlines or fills. To change directions or to create a point, you'll use left clicks. A right click will form curves. Remember to always let the software close the shape. For this first shape, choose the type of fill you wish to use, and then begin with the left click. This will be a left right click around the curves, a left click to change directions, another left click because this is a straight line, and then right click around the curve. A left click to change direction, a left click to form a straight line, a right click to curve and an enter to let the software close the shape. The closed freehand tool is not used very often. It's not the easiest tool to use, but it's fun for creating unusual shapes. I'll select the ripple fill for this. Click where you wish to start and then drag to the outside of the shape, and then move the mouse around the shape of the design. A netting will show you how this shape is closing. Release the mouse to set the design. The block digitizing tool sets multiple angles in an object as you digitize. If you remember, we added stitch angles in an earlier video. When you use the block tool, you have to remember to go from one side of the object to the other side of the object. You'll do left clicks where you want points to form and right clicks where you want curves to form. Let's choose a satin fill for this. I'll left click on one side, then come over to the other side and left click. Then right click, right click. Right click at the crown of the arc, another right click, right click at the other side, come across and right click, and then a left click and a left click and an enter. You can see how the stitch angle varies around this shape. Each of these created objects can now be edited, choosing the type of stitch you want to use and the color. The objects can also be reshaped if needed.